please stand as we welcome our bride and groom. <laughs> Put your hands together for Mr. and Mrs. Christopher Neil Morrison. Ladies and gentlemen, they just got married. I know you can do better than that. Let's hear it! Please remain standing as Mr. Scott Morrison leads us in prayer as we bless the meal. G'day guys, we're just going to thank God for all well, a lot of stuff right now, so if you want to do whatever you do when you thank God, that'd be awesome. Awesome, God, we want to thank you for who you are, that you are love, and that in the ultimate display of love, Jesus came and died on the cross for us. And Father God, we want to thank you for the union that's happened today between my brother and my sister. God, we want to thank you so much for what's happened here. God, we ask that you would use this, this marriage, this union, to draw them closer to you. God, that you'd use this to... Um, Show them more about your love and who you are. And God, we ask this to be a real kingdom marriage, that this relationship is used to change lives for the better in Jesus' name. Amen. And Father God, we want to thank you for the food we're about to eat. We want to thank you that we can eat this food, that we can enjoy such a great meal. And Father God, for the company that we have, yeah, in Jesus' name, we just want to ask you would be present, that you would be here, that all conversations would be um, yeah, so good, Lord God, that doing life together, you'd be able to do something good here in our hearts, Lord God. So we want to thank you for it again, for everything that's happened today, for everything that's still to come. We want to uh, yeah, pray all of this in the powerful, the majestic, the almighty, and the glorious name of the living Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Well Mr. Scott Morrison, ladies and gentlemen, very well done. We will now commence with dinner, beginning with the immediate family. Please help yourselves to the buffet at this time. Everyone else, please remain seated as the hostess will come around and invite you to the buffet. Enjoy your dinner, ladies and gentlemen. Birds fly away. You know how I feel. Sun in the sky. You know. It's a new day. It's a new day. somewhat emotional, and so I think I have a right to be at this point. 
But uh, I'm going to probably read some of this, and if not most of it, because I think I really wanted to you know, think long and hard. I've been thinking about it for two months. Uh, now I sat down today and really put it down on paper. So, Julie and I welcome y'all to this joyous and momentous occasion in the life of Jill and Chris Morrison. And I got it right. As I look around this room, I am also astounded at how far most of you have traveled. Florida, Maryland, California, Virginia, San Antonio, Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas, Chicago, Illinois, Boston, Massachusetts, New Orleans, Louisiana, Canada, and of course, Australia. Your presence here today is a true testament to your love of Jill and Chris and the impact of Jill's and Chris love on you. Speaking on behalf of Julie, myself, and I'm sure everyone here, that love will now be expanded as their path continues as a couple. I would also like to thank the several people that helped us with putting on this wedding, the reception, the rehearsal dinner, etc. Julie and I thank you from the bottom of our heart. Chris. My time. It is my honor and pleasure to welcome you to the Browning Embley family. Yay. May I reminisce for just a few moments? When Jill first told us about meeting a boy, actually gushed would be the better description. In Cuernavaca, Mexico, while on a mission trip, as a father, I went, okay. Typical camp retreat stuff. When she told me he was from Melbourne, Australia, I laughed. <laughs> and thought to myself, of course, this won't go far and I don't have to worry. <laughs> Time passes. Joe goes off to college and wait. What? He is coming to America. Uh-oh. I better put this guy on my radar. Okay. False alarm. He went back home. Wait a minute. Hold it. He's back. Is this getting serious? That would never work. He's from Australia. It's on the other side of the world. Nah, it won't work. <laughs> Skype? What is Skype? <laughs> they can see each other. <laughs> Texting. They texted each other 10 to 20 times a day. I know, I have the phone bill. I can use it. <laughs> Curses to technology. All right, Dad, admit it. This could be serious. We're going to fast forward. He's coming back again. He's got two brothers. Can they spend the night? I felt like that was a setup. They're checking us out. You're asking for my daughter's hand? Chris, I tell you now in front of your family and loved ones, I am very proud and honored to have made the right decision to say yes. <laughs> Chris, we all know that you love Jill. That is beyond a shadow of a doubt just the radiance of your face when you look at her. Today, just, but I also want to know, I want you to know to be married to your wife and best friend is the true blessing. Love comes naturally. Friendship, friendship is a process that takes time to deepen and nurture, spend that time wisely. It will guarantee a life together of rich fulfillment. I was blessed because I married my best friend. And because of that strength through our trials and tribulations, it has helped us sustain a life and produce what you have in front of you. 